my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. So what is, sorry, see if I can stop the whole thing here, was my looper, was my iPad, um, what is solo strumming? We got a new program out uh, on that concept. And uh, there's a way that you can practice this that's really simple. Uh, and I'll give you a simple practice method in this video so you can get started right away. Um, the, the art or the skill of, of strumming your solos, it's really a transition from playing rhythm guitar, where a beat like this, you would go, right? You know that rhythm, you can play the rhythm part of it. Why not apply that to your soloing as well? And that's what we're going to do in this video. And it just connects you so intimately with the track that you're playing over. So it's very hard to play something that doesn't make sense. And that's really the power of it. Normally when we play solos or try to play solos, we, we say, okay, I got the music in the background, and then here's some licks that I can put on top of that, or I try to play something that sounds like, but it's like it's, it's detached from the music because it's like, here's the melody, it goes all, you know, everywhere I want it to go, and that's the music in the background. When you solo strum, or strum your solos, then suddenly you're just so intimately connected with what is going on there that you suddenly realize that this is the reason why I couldn't end my licks and lines in a, in a logical way. This is the reason why I just can't seem to grasp or get hold of what the soloing challenge is really about. So I can't practice it. Right? As long as we think that, okay, soloing is a matter of taking some licks and then trying to apply them to some uh, jam track on top of it and then trying to make sense of it and, you know, practice ending and beginning these licks and putting them in, in the right place. As long as that is our definition of how to practice soloing, then we're going to get very few results. But once you start strumming the subdivisions of the bar, like, uh, you know, like that, or even go even further than that and go, um, and you start putting your notes on those strums, then suddenly it's much easier to, to play something that sounds really up there uh, along with the best. So let me just uh, demonstrate what I'm going to do for you here. Um, first of all, we're going to take the, the, the most obvious subdivision, which is the shuffle beat. It goes da, 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 right? But I'm just, instead of practicing a lot of muting skills, which we teach in the new program, I'm just gonna focus on one string, right? So I'm simply gonna take the whole um, strumming pattern and just apply it to one string, in this case, the, the, the G string. And just imagine we have the, um, uh, the E blue scale in the 12th fret here, the first position. Right, first position, blue scale shape in the 12th fret. Right, and I'm on the G string, and I'm just starting out by uh, picking my shuffle beat on a muted string. So I'm just placing my fingers just uh, lightly on the string here, and then I'm ready to play with my first finger in the 12th fret and my third finger in the 14th fret, basically. And I can do that on the D string as well. So I got that little structure there of one whole tone on each string, 12 and 14 on the D and G. Right? Those are only downstrokes there, but let, let me just demonstrate how that works. So, this is the first level, right? Can you get this up and running? See if I can catch the beat there, the tempo. And I can. Then I can just start uh, using the downstrokes as a, you know, as a note. So I'm just gonna pick the note in the 12th fret on the G string and do some vibrato. That was a little upstroke there. Let me do some upstrokes as well. Downstrokes. Both. This is an exercise, right? We're going to add to it. <laughs> Only these
lige små notes. Like that until you really feel comfortable using both the downstrokes. You can you can you know put a note on each downstroke or some of the downstrokes and some of the upstrokes as well. But you keep that going on that one string. I'm you know when I do the muted thing, I'm I'm using several strings uh, to strum so I get. But you can just stay on. And you can do some hammer-ons and some pull-offs in between. So. Right to 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 add to your uh, right hand rhythm here, but then I can go even further. I can say, okay, the shuffle beat. This is a bit of theory. Really comes from the triplet feel, where you got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, foot, foot. Right, you got the pulse of the, and then I got three subdivisions in between each quarter note. So one, two, three, four. Those would be the quarter notes, and then I got I subdivided the distance between one and two in three little pieces by going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if I start having that subdivision instead, I'm really working with another uh, right hand pattern where I go down, up, 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 down, up. Right? And that's also. Right? Still a rhythm skill, still a strumming skill. But I'm just going to apply that as well. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And I'm just going to apply that subdivision as well. Let's see if I can have fun with that. Those are all the downstrokes. Upstrokes. No, no muted strokes there, it's just... Only downstrokes, only upstrokes now. Right? Of course, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, you don't have to do this for a long time to become very good at it. You just have to do it every day. And you have to focus on something that's manageable, like the downstrokes in the beginning, right? Well, first you you just do the the subdivisions of down up down up down up down up down up and get them up to this tempo. Well, that's a challenge in and of itself. But if you focus on only that and you really focus on it and you take it with you wherever you go, down up down up down up down up da 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 da. You know, after a week you'll be so good at it that you can start. Um, well, you know, da 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 da. Rhythm seems hard in the beginning, but it's really. Much easier to learn than anything else on this instrument because it's you know it's got no notes to it and it's a it's a body matter. It's not a matter of you know the rhythm itself is detached from any note playing. It's just a matter of being able to keep a pulse in your foot and then do ba da 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 with your mouth or your hand or whatever. Da 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 da. Right. So. But I can then, once I've been c c become good at this, I can combine it with my shuffle again, which was, right? This is the subdivision, just the shuffle beat. Right? Downstroke. Upstroke. That's the rhythm. It's like a drum solo, right? When I'm playing it, let me put some notes to it.
right? It's a lot of fun. And this is the key to really getting so intimate with the music and focusing on the real skill that you need, which is this, right? That this is what connects you. This is what enables you to take a piece of music. It doesn't have to be shuffle blues, could be anything, pop, rock, metal, doesn't matter. It's the same skill that connects you uh, so intimately with the music that you are just able to, to come up with ideas. You know, so I just played a, a solo just right before there that was just strokes, right, with no notes. And that's entertaining for me and hopefully for, uh, you know, other people as well. And so you add the notes and suddenly the notes are a luxury because you got that strumming part under control. So go check out the new program. <laughs> but you can start without the new program to practice this right away. Um, and I hope you will. So see you in uh, the next video. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.